Yeah. Let's start the show. Man, we got a damn good show for y'all today, man. Damn good show. I think this is going to be one of the best. But first, let's pay some of Harsh Twins bills. <laughs> Go to my website and pick out you a patriotic t-shirt today. OfficialHarshTwins.com. Use discount code ChineseVirus. I give you 20% off. Trevor Noah. That's a big time star right there. It's from South Africa. Yeah. He's an immigrant. <laughs> Showing how unracist this country is. He came here for a better life and now he's a superstar. Yeah. He's living the American dream. Yeah. But Trevor he's Noah. He's living proof that this country ain't racist. <laughs> <laughs> Check this video out. But guys, this has to stop, right? Or at least if you insist on a gender reveal, you should do something that helps the situation. The water's pink, it's a girl! And aside from all the damage it can cause, celebrating a baby's genitalia is starting to feel very outdated. Gender's outdated. Look, gender gives the parent structure. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough decision. I know when the kid comes out and you see a penis, you're like, what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Trevor, ain't you glad when you were born, yeah. your parents made that tough decision to call you a boy because you know why? You got a chode between your legs. <laughs> a South African chode. <laughs> <laughs> you say gender is outdated. Uh, you know what's outdated? What? What's outdated? Black people saying they're oppressed. That's outdated. We got rights now. It's 2020. Gender outdated? That's a good one right there. No, man. Uh, Gender gives the parent structure. Yeah. I mean, how else are they going to address you? <laughs> yeah. They're going to be confused. Y'all know what's wrong with this country? Tell them, Keith. Tell them what's wrong with this country, man. Thanks for your permission. Y'all know what's wrong with this country? The left is always pushing this perception like this country is just horrible for black people, that this country is systemically racist. Yeah. That's what's wrong with this country. I'll give you a perfect example of this. Trevor Noah. Yeah. They say, what, what, what's this show called? Uh, the Daily Social Distancing Show with Trevor Noah. Yeah. Which yeah. is very in interesting how he put that because that's not Trevor Noah's show. Yeah. Some white liberals writing all them jokes. Yeah. He's reading every, everything he says is coming from a teleprompter. It's not. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like us. When we cut on camera, this shit's this shit is live. Yeah, this is us. This ain't is, nobody writing this. This is how I feel. <laughs> this is what I think. Yeah. Check out the, the just the just the sheer stupidity. This dude is willing to say on this show after somebody wrote it down and put on a teleprompter. I think it's kind of funny, really. He's just scaring people. Every encounter between a police officer and a black person is fraught with danger. In fact, there's something in black families called the talk. Never heard of it. And I don't know if my white viewers know about this. I mean, maybe it's one of those things that black people do that you've never heard of before. Police violence is such a threat that somehow the most uncomfortable talk you have to have with your kids is the one where you don't use the word semen. What? So, we know that black people know what's at stake and have methods of how to handle being pulled over by the police. No, they don't. Hey, well, obviously I'm these... All these incidents that's happening in the news with George Floyd, Dante Wright, um, uh, Eddie Gray. I mean, the list goes on and on. They have not heard the talk. They have they have not got the memo. All these people resisted arrest. All these people did not follow commands. Obviously, everybody in the black community has heard of the talk. But you say it's dangerous to look between your kids' legs and... No, ain't nothing dangerous about a gender reveal party. I mean, you said it was dangerous. It could cause a lot of harm, but what harm? The baby's not even born yet. What if you just, everybody just, I mean, that's a small percentage of the population that decides when they get older, they want to yeah. live their life as the other. Yeah. And now, so, now you want to do that for everybody? A planet 99, the entire population? Yeah, 99% of all people, they, they want to be what they are between their legs. You know what I mean? Right, so right. why are you going to apply that to everybody? Yeah, and why are you making this gender so such a difficult issue? It's, it's very simple. Yeah, it's based on science. This is how he closes out his show. But the talk still hasn't been able to prevent police violence against black people. So maybe it's not black people who need a talk about how to act around the police. Maybe, just maybe, police need a talk about how to act around black people. 
No, no, those black people that's been shot and killed, 99.9% of them are not taking the instructions from the talk. The police officers know how to act. These these people just being shot and fairly shot and resistant arrest, they need to sit down and readdress what they're doing. And see, they know what they're doing. They know they don't care. Yeah. So it's the cops' fault. Yeah. They need to learn how to act around. Did he say black people? <laughs> <laughs> he said that. So you gotta act a certain way around uh yeah. around black people? You're pretty much saying black people need to have special privilege when it comes to police interactions. That's what you're saying, because there's been over 100 police officers killed in this country. Maybe, just maybe, Trevor, <laughs> we need to sit down and talk with some old black people <laughs> and make sure they know how to act around police officers. Just maybe. And honestly, I don't even know why we need gender reveal parties. You know what we do need, though? race reveal parties. Jessica Krug revealed in a blog post that she is a white Jewish woman who has been pretending to be black for years. And it says her whole life has been based on a lie. Okay, first of all, you can't say your life was based on a lie when you're the one who made up the lie. That's not how it works. Your life is only based on a lie when someone else told you the lie. <laughs> Trevor, I'm lost. Yeah, I'm way. It's a lot. It's a lie if you pick your own race. Yeah, but it's not a lie if you pick your own damn gender. Hey, Trevor, who's writing the rules, man? Who the hell's writing your jokes? Yeah, <laughs> you got these two jokes back to back. Yeah, I mean, right now you look like the joke. <laughs> Next time you do your show, make sure you proofread and read the jokes, because <laughs> you're the one that's gonna look like an ass. <laughs> I don't even stand why Trevor's having this show. Yeah. Well, because here on the right, that's what we always say. He's actually doing, mm. using a, a, a right talking point. Yeah. If if this actually worked to talk, and it yeah. does work, because I followed the talk my entire life. I didn't have the talk. It's just common again, sense. It's common sense. Mm. So why isn't Black Lives Matter? Why ain't you Trevor Noah? Yeah. When these incidents happen where they're, Majority of them are resisting arrest. Why don't you ever point that out then? Yeah. Because if you actually followed the talk, these incidents would not happen. Yep. See, this this dude is not stupid. If he sit down and talk and this show was just his show, yeah. he would be pointing this stuff out. But like I said, this is not his show. Yeah. They're telling him what to say, how to say it. Yeah. And it's stupid jokes that he makes. Now, yeah. I'm all for people when they grow up. Yeah. When they become adults. Yeah. It's like, you know what? I have a chode between my legs, and I'm a man. man there's too many chodes in this video. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to look at science. I'm just going to use my imagination going forward. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll call you whatever you want to be called. You want to yeah. be called Shakita, Kendra, whatever yeah. your name is. They? 99% of all people, they, they want to be what they are between their legs. You know what I mean? Right, so right. why are you going to apply that to everybody? Yeah. And why are you making this gender so such a difficult issue? It's... It's very simple. How is Trevor Noah going to react if a cop does a felony stop on you and your vehicle matches a description of something just happened, uh, a robbery where somebody was killed? You fit what, the description of a... What is Trevor Noah going to do? Trevor Noah be like, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, here's my idea. I just came from a, from my show, shooting the show. Yes, I'm not resisting. You ain't going to resist or anything. Yeah. You're going to follow his instructions. Yep. But when some of this happens, you'll never point that out. You yeah. don't point out what Trevor Noah would do. You don't point out what you do in your life to make yourself successful. Yeah. You point the blame at the police officer. Yep. When the person, if they were to just held them, made themselves accountable, followed instructions, yeah. it wouldn't happen. Yeah. Y'all was such full of shit. If you can pick your gender, you should be able to pick your race. I mean, like, I could come out one day and say, I identify as a white man. From Little Rock, Arkansas, that loves country music and has strong conservative values. Yeah, I mean, seriously, who the hell is writing these damn rules? <laughs> you should look up the word hypocrisy, Trevor. Yeah. yeah. There's all kinds of hypocrisy coming out your mouth. <laughs> Every black family knows what the talk is. Never heard of it. Obey, come home. The talk will always happen in black households. What? That's right. I've been living the, the, in the United States my entire life. I've had hundreds of interactions with police, and yeah. each and every one of them was because of what I did. Yeah. Not because I was black. Yeah. I've never called boy, 
I was never been handcuffed and sat down on the side of the street just for a traffic violation because I always followed their commands and I followed their directions. So it's like he makes these jokes about the talk and how white people don't have to have this talk. Yeah, they don't have this talk because it's common sense. It's like drinking from the toilet. <laughs> it's common sense. You don't need that <laughs> talk. <laughs> yeah, white people don't need this conversation because it goes without saying it's in your damn DMV handbook. It's like, okay, majority of these incidents that's been in the news— if they would have followed the talk, yeah, we wouldn't. They wouldn't. They would be still alive today. Yeah, ninety nine point nine percent of them. You guys are really admitting if you would follow the cops' commands and follow their directions, this conversation wouldn't even be needed. Yeah, so you're kind of telling on yourself. That's 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 a talking point yeah. that they put in these shows right. for other black people yep. to scare them. Yeah, I've never acted like that with a police officer. But I want to point out one thing. This is our show. I have no producers, no writers. This is us speaking to you. I don't have yeah. nobody writing jokes or telling me what to say. Trevor Noah, you have somebody telling you what to say. Yeah. You're shucking and, and jiving.